bloom and grow YouTube show. The way you talk about mother nature on your podcast all the time, um, you have such a connection with her. What have, was this something that also came about when you were um, finding your connection with plants or has this always kind of been part of your spiritual practice? Has your relationship with her evolved? Absolutely evolved. I mean, my early days, like my early career stuff, actually this is one of the last jobs I had was I work for the body shop. So I was like oh, pumping yeah? peppermint foot cream yes. and stock <laughs> and dewberry soap, you know? <laughs> okay. And the founder, Anita Roddick, who's since passed, she was an amazing mentor and idol. And, you know, we were saving rainforests and, and yeah. funding activism, you know, chain yourself to a tree kind of stuff. But that was still a, it was like an intellectual exercise. And it was also part of like being like super fiery in my twenties and just being like this angry little feminist, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I would never, I'm not the kind of person who like, I want to go camping. I never, I'm just like, I want to go stay in the hotel. Like, what are you Me talking too. about? Me too. So I would say there was this kind of barren space in my life. The same time of just like, I don't need house plants. Please don't bring me flowers as a hostess gift when you come over for dinner because I have to put them in a vase, you know? Yeah. Um, there was a disconnection. There's a disconnection. Mm -hmm. And, and of course, reverence and recycling and want to do everything I can to mitigate pollution, all of that. Like I've never been, you know, cold about it. But I'd say it's really been in this last probably seven to 10 years where, I mean, my divorce really moved me to nature. My mother said to me, you know, I was just really, you know, in that distraught phase. And she just said, go, go to the trees. And my mom's not even like that earthy of a person. I just like, wow, where is this coming from? Mm -hmm. And, and of course I was like walking in the woods a lot and, and, and I knew I just needed some time to think and feel, but I really became aware, like, no, this is healing me on multiple levels. And, um, and then I had a, there were numerous times where I might not have asked for thanks or offered thanks first, but I really spoke to the forest and just like, you know, you are, you're cleaning the air. Can you clean my heart? Mm -hmm. And can I, you're huge, you're massive. I know you have a root system that is just going on for miles. Could I just give you a bit of my pain today? And uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, that's um, kind of spooky. When I lost my job as a performer, I moved back in with my parents for six months. My mom said the same exact thing to me. Mm -hmm. She said, go, there's a path in the woods around the corner. You should go walk it every day. Mm -hmm. and that that did it the forest the forest receives whatever you have to give it you know but once mm -hmm. again those trees unconditional love think yeah. about you know mother nature think about how we've treated the planet and how she just keeps showing up for us yeah um, endless endless so love.